uh, Blake uh, Voss. I will. Advanced, but <laughs> enjoy. Blake and Nadal. We'll be right back. Center stage, and uh, he's just become an incredible story. This guy was ranked at the beginning of the year outside of the top 50. Now he's an extremely legitimate number two in the world, and he can play on hard. James Blake, like Nadal, influenced by family members. His older older brother Thomas was a fine player, collegiate at Harvard as well, three years older, and an inspiration, just as Nadal has grown up in family, and uh, his uncle Tony is his coach and has been since he was a small child. Now, James Blake, obviously, and we'll talk about the very difficult year he had last year, including losing his dad. And this year, he's, he's just made tremendous progress back into the game. In fact, though he's not ranked as high as he's ever been, he's playing better than he ever has. In New Haven last week, he won the title, beating, by the way, three lefties along the way, and Le Nadal is the leftiest of all. He's got tremendous speed. He used to just want to play macho ball. I mean, he just wanted to be offensive. But he had the crowd going absolutely nuts for him because he spent so much of his life living in Connecticut and training there. And he's a much better defensive player as well now. He just, uh, his game is more complete than it's ever been. He's playing with great confidence. He trusts his backhand, which used to be a, a liability for him. And his forehand is one of the biggest in men's tennis. And he covers the court as well as anyone. We asked him about that backhand because it was suspect, and he said, all of a sudden, I, I just believe in it. I'm not afraid to get out of it. He said, in the past, I wasn't quite sure. I'd try to get over to my forehand, and he has shown in his two matches uh, of this championship that that backhand can be a weapon as well. Uh, just how far will it take him? Well, he's going to have to beat one of the world's best in the doll. And this guy, his energy <laughs> level, I mean, he'll be pumping and hustling, and uh, the way he plays defense is just uh, something to behold. I mean, you cannot give up thinking you've won any point. No, you can't, and you're exactly right. He is, you know, he's going to be facing a lot of firepower from James Blake, but this this 19-year-old is the ultimate counterpuncher because he's the most offensive counterpuncher uh, that I maybe maybe I've ever seen. I mean, he has great power. Look how physically gifted he is. He's also got tremendous spin. And because he's so strong and so quick, he can hit with power and spin from anywhere on the court, even when he's in a defensive position. And you see he's really improved the strength and power of his serve as well. Tracy Wolfson uh, encountered this young man from Mallorca just moments ago. Raphael, you're facing your third American here. It's going to be a cr tough crowd out there. How are you going to handle that? So the three matches, uh, again, American players, but... I know the public is, is good for now, and I know every match is very difficult, and this match is very difficult too, because he's staying very, very good. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Thank you. And working on his English as well, and I think in his own shy way, proud of the fact that uh, he's trying to be more communicative in a second uh, language. John McEnroe, a uh, fairly... Uh, Accomplished left-hander and has appreciation uh, <laughs> for his uh, talent has joined us now. We got you running all around. Uh, I love you, it. You're down to about 140 crowd. pounds, aren't you? Well, no, 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 quite that much. But I'm working hard on my fitness, and um, they're not doing too bad for a young old guy. Well, they might have you out on court 18 if you don't watch out. Race you out there for a report. I'm ready whenever they need. All right, what are your thoughts about this match? And actually, when I looked at the draw, I was looking forward to seeing Nadal play Blake in the third round. Blake had, you know, we've all talked about the horrible year that he had last year. But I really thought it was 90% that Nadal was going to win this. But having seen Nadal play here, he's not playing with as much confidence and belief. Seems a little off-center. And Blake playing the best I've ever seen him, seeming calm, fit as ever. I actually think Blake has a great chance to win this. Mm, well, Blake uh, and Tracy Wolfson uh, chatted just moments ago. James, what a run so far. Can you keep it going against the number two seed? Yeah, I'm going to try. This is going to be fun. i got no pressure on me. He's a number two player in the world, coming in probably the favorite. So I'm going to have a great time. I know I'm going to have the crowd on my side, and uh, hopefully I can come out on top. Are you playing better than you've ever played? I think over the last few weeks I've been playing better, uh, better each day, and uh, it's, it's definitely a higher level than I was at probably even before I got hurt. So I'm really excited about it, and hopefully I can keep improving today. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Thanks. Well, there's uh, J Block. Uh, <laughs> Chaps in blue, they bought the shirts up in New Haven. As, uh, as Blake says with a big smile, here's a Harvard guy being cheered at Yale. As he won the title, his second title a week ago. 
Nadal's unbelievable. Uh, he runs out, you know, before the match even starts. He looks like a fighter there when they're tossing the coin. I mean, it's the, the energy level he brings to a match is, is beautiful. He is a matador. So Nadal playing against Blake and a highly partisan New York crowd. They've traded six-four sets. 